All right, everyone, time to take a look at the final episode of the day, which is Lost Souls. In flashbacks to six months ago, Ray prepared to test his Adam's suit miniaturization capabilities. The first test seemingly fails. Ray attempts to alter the settings, an explosion occurs, destroying his lab and the surrounding floors of Palmer Tech, but Ray is alive and flung with the wreckage. At the campaign office, Oliver and Alex and they are supposed to meet with Felicity to discuss their budget. When Felicity doesn't show up, Oliver leaves Chuck on her. Alex asks Thea out on a date, though she's hesitant. At Palmer Tech in Curtis's lab, Felicity is playing racist stress signal on a loop, attempting to trace its origin. When Curtis arrives, he urges Felicity, Felicity to take a break on, upon seeing her current state. Oliver appears and meets Curtis. After concluding that Oliver can't be the Green Arrow, on account of his jawline, Curtis leaves. Oliver reveals Felicity to forget about being with his campaign team as was happening. Felicity plays Ray's message, which was sent six days prior, and reveals he's still alive. Only in you, Oliver, Ryder, and Conklin head down to the chamber where John Constantine found the orb. Ryder uses it to light up a message in symbolic represent representations. He says to Oliver to bring workers who began digging for something. Ryder then advises Conklin to watch Oliver. In the present, Sarah's conversing with her mother on the phone, affirming Dinah that she's alive and loves her. After the other conversation, Sarah jokes to Lance and Laurel about how telling her mother was simpler this time, but admits she's missing some of her memories. Lance is worried about Sarah, of us here, but nonetheless overjoyed that his daughters are together again. At home, Oliver urges Felicity to take a shower and nap after, before continuing to help Ray. Now, upset Felicity feels that Oliver doesn't understand the seriousness of the situation, he prepares to agree. Just then, she gets an alert that her program traced Ray's message. Felicity is able to video call Ray, who tells him that he's being held captive by people who want his suit. Oliver wonders why he can't use it to break out. Ray reveals the miniaturizing technology shrunk him down to a few inches tall. At the bunker, the team learns that Ray has schematics for a machine to resize him. Felicity prepares to take the bloopers to Curtis, and it's known to Oliver tries to come along to spend being able to help build the device. Only in you, Oliver is pushing laborers to complete their work when a man speaks up that they need a break. Oliver allows them 15 minutes to eat and prepares to do, himself, to do so himself in privacy. Conklin, overseeing laborers, offers the man of lot an opportunity to improve his station. At Palmer Tech, Curtis, conf Curtis confirms he can design the machine to resize Ray, says they need a quantum manifold from Court Industries, their greatest rival. During their discussion, Donna Smoke arrives, having been invited to town by Oliver. After Curtis meets Donna, an overall Felicity tells him to begin work on the machine while she sends her mother home and meets her team Arrow. That night, Team Arrow prepares to break into Court Industries. Felicity is irate with Oliver for talking to her mother behind her back, much to the rest of the team's amusement. In the storeroom, Sarah and Thea discover the manifold, but are confronted by security. Sarah nearly beats one of the men to death before Laurel stops her and the group flees. Back at the bunker, Ray sends Felicity another message. As he's, as he's telling her what he needs, Damien Dark comes up, comes up behind Ray and the signal is cut off. Afterwards, Oliver says he's lands to find where Dark is keeping Ray and in the meantime, they have to wait on the machine from Curtis. Felicity is unwilling to, to sit still and becomes angry when Oliver reveals he's made dinner plans for them with Donna. Diggle, who's watching the argument, agrees that Felicity needs some time to relax, but she's too upset over Ray being in danger. Only in you, Oliver goes to check on Tan on Tanya. On Tayana. He inquires as to whether she's seen Raider do anything odd. Tayana reveals that Raider claimed to a portion of the workers that he has mended their spirits. Oliver believes that drug harvesting is only a front for whatever Raider is doing on the island. As office, Dark threatens to Ray that he will kill Felicity if Ray doesn't give him the Adam suit. At the loft, Donna ruined the chicken by turning on the oven too high, leaving his insides raw. Oliver assures he can cook something else, though Felicity is unenthusiastic. Sensing their vainly, their vainly, thinly, sensing their thinly veiled emotions, Donna excuses herself to go get takeout. Felicity finally sits to talk to Felicity, admitting that inviting admitting that inviting her mother without her permission isn't the best idea, but asks why she seems to be blaming him for Ray's fate. Asks why she seems to be blaming him for Ray's fate. 
Over. Lizzie reveals she blames herself for getting so cut up in her relationship with Oliver that she uprooted her life from Star City and consequently missed Ray's distress signals for months. Oliver inquires as to whether she has a problem with their relationship, and Felicity can't offer him a response. He decides to give her some space. At the bunker, Digger, Diggle and Oliver share a whiskey while Oliver talks with Diggle about his communication problems with Felicity. He wonders if she's better suited to someone like Ray, who can keep up with her intelligence. Diggle assures Oliver that his love for Felicity is beyond commonality and knows she is a strong woman who will pull through this. Douglas then contacted contact by Lance that he's meeting with Dark. Only in you, Vlad ambushes Oliver when he comes to check on the laborers and attempts to drown him by holding his head underwater. In Star City, Lance meets with Dark, who is troubled about being summoned by him, preparing for an inquiry concerning Sarah's resurrection. At the loft, Felicity is pondering her thoughts to bed when Donna brings her hot milk. She remembers the time when Felicity wanted to go to space camp as a child and was left upset when her mother refused. Donna wished she liked her daughter back then and actually couldn't afford it, much, fel much to Felicity's surprise. Donna assures Felicity that Oliver is not like her father. Felicity admits that, that, that admits that's the problem. It's too easy to even think about losing herself in him. Donna explains that Oliver is going through the same, but they're in love, and will end up finding themselves in one another. Oliver then texts Felicity that Dougal has raised location. In the bunker, the teams are that Ray is being held in the abandoned Aladdin building. Oliver, who, Oliver concludes that he needs to bring Curtis into the field, since the machine he made can get Team Arrow into the structure by, seizing, by resizing Ray. Sarah says she accompanied the team, wanting to know she, she can control herself. Outside the building, Oliver is taken up by the knob of a ghost weapon, who brings him inside and ties him up in front of Dark. Dark sends the ghost away, who turns out, who turns out to be Diggle in disguise, as part of the plan to get the team inside. Diggle disables the security framework so Curtis and Felicity can parachute into the building. The canaries is sold from the entryway, drawing in the ghost of Speedy. Dark decides to unmask Green Arrow when Oliver kicks him to the ground and tries to shoot him with an arrow reversed closed, an arrow reversed close by. Dark controls the chance to choke Green Arrow. In Dark's office, Felicity and Curtis can't make sense of how to free Ray from the solid prison he's held in. Meanwhile, Oliver doors Dark with an explosive arrow, allowing him to escape his confines. Ray is able to use the suit to debilitate the black person and Curtis fires the machine to resize him. When some ghosts arrive, Oliver appears in Trank Slam. As Dorothy and Sarah prepare to leave, Sarah gets caught up in her bullet list and kills a ghost. At the bunker, the team briefs Ray about the situation with Hive. Lucy takes him on and offers to help Ray, Ray reintegrate into the world of Palmer Tech. However, Ray decides to continue playing dead for a while, leaving Palmer Tech to Felicity. In the flashbacks, Oliver manages to overpower and kill Vlad, attracting Conklin and some other workers to the banks. Conklin sees Oliver shadow a story to explain Vlad's body. At Laurel's apartment, she and Thea talk about she and Thea talk with Sarah about what happened. Sarah decides she needs to deal with her Lazarus Pit related issues in a different manner from Thea. So she uses a good opportunity to truly begin again and thanks Laura for reviving her. Sarah plans to visit her mother in Central City and possibly do some traveling while she makes sense of things. Laurel and Thea are saddened by, but understand her decision, and Laurel hugs Sarah goodbye. Oliver is writing in bed when Felicity returns home after getting resettled. She expresses gratitude toward Oliver for helping save Ray and being so understanding with her frustration. Oliver also, 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 Oliver also apologizes for not being attentive in the way she needed him to be. Felicity tells Oliver they will be fine, despite the fact that this is all new to them, using her mother's words of finding themselves in each other. The two kiss and make love. Mm -hmm. At a cafe, Lance is drinking a club soda meets a woman who asks about his forlorn disposition. Lance and the woman, Donna, begin to, come, begin to commiserate over their daughters and introduce themselves to each other. At the campaign office, Alex brings a few documents for the to Thea for Oliver to sign. Thea asks, Thea asks Alex out for drinks later, admitting she's still nervous but willing to give them a chance. At Dark's office, Amini confirms they created a power source using residual dwarf store alloy from Ray's suit. Dark asks him to test down a structure, unrolling some blueprints. Mm, then. Hmm. So anyway, let's take a look at some trivia surrounding this episode. 
This episode marks the last appearance of Sarah on Arrow until Invasion, due to her joining the main cast of On Legends of Tomorrow. It's also her last appearance as the Canary, and she later drops the identity White Canary. It's the only episode of Arrow that both Sarah Ray appear in before they join the Le- before they join the Legends, until the episode Invasion, which was after joining the Legends. The passcode 4587 is used when Team Arrow break into Court Industries to seal the quantum manifold. This is the same docket number of the case from the People vs. Monterey Queen, an all vs. prison inmate serial number in Season 7. Bussy vs. Diggle has Spartan to protect his identity. In the comics, Spartan is the leader of, of superhero team Wildcats. The character is known for strength and durability, much like the character John Diggle. When Oliver explains to Ray about Hive, the organization that captured him, Ray compares it with Spectre, a criminal and terrorist organization of the James Bond franchise. Now finally, let's take a look at a goof. John comments, Vodka's rooms anyway, Tennessee whiskey, put some hair on your chest. However, he and Oliver start drinking a bottle of the Black Johnny Walker label, which is a Scottish blended whiskey, not Tennessee. Hmm. So for all, I think this episode is kind of interesting, and yeah, well, it's, well, it's, uh, well it is good that Ray is back. I think it's a good idea for him to just lay low for a while and stuff, so yeah, but who knows what's happening next to them, so yeah, anyway. So overall, I give Lost Souls four arrowheads out of five. But anyway, tune in tomorrow as we take the next episode, Brotherhood. So until then, in the words of Oliver Queen, you have failed this city.